Episode 1 of Spookware has finally been released, and it's really fun. I've played it for roughly 5 hours now, and it's been an absolute delight to experience. Spookware is heavily inspired by WarioWare, a Nintendo game that focuses on smaller micro-game challenges. But of course, Spookware has that spooky, cute twist to it. The game's story is set in a strange, odd skeleton world where traditional fleshy humans don't exist, but sentient skeletons do instead. It honestly feels like you're playing an early morning cartoon. It's really comfy. You play as three cute skeleton brothers who embark on a road trip across skeleton country. They're attempting to sort their lives out, find their identity, find some meaning in their lives, and gain some life experience. Each level of Spookware is a different road trip location. You'll meet interesting characters, solve some mysteries, make some music, and even cook some food. The way you do anything is through these fun micro-games. These are exciting, short burst challenges with simple controls. They're easy to grasp once you understand them, but they're difficult to master, always giving you a challenge, always giving you something fun and new and interesting to tackle. According to the game website, there is over a hundred micro-games to experience and discover. The game does a great job of easing you in and teaching you the main mechanics of the micro-games. It does this by scattering smaller micro-games into each of the levels for you to complete. The final challenge of each level requires you to complete 9 micro-games, including a speed-up round and a boss round to finish off. This final challenge will incorporate the mechanics that you've learned through the previous level, meaning you always feel like you're organically learning the mechanics without an intruding tutorial screen. It's very intuitive and, and creative, a really cool way to just ease the player into learning the mechanics. Spookware is absolutely bursting at the seams in charm and charisma. From the unique cutesy art style to the witty writing. Oh, and the soundtrack. Oh baby, the soundtrack slaps. The music is so groovy and fun and different. And the sound design is just pure ear magic. Developed by indie studio Beeswax Games, that according to their Twitter is made up of Three people? Holy heck, this thing is an achievement. This really is the definition of an indie game. Published by DreadXP, the company behind the DreadX collections, a publisher that has proven time and time again to be in support of indie devs. And like I said at the start of the video, this is only episode one. There seems to be a plan to release DLC and more content to the game over time. This is something that is quite remarkable for an indie game release. You don't see it that often. For a spooky, cute, but challenging experience, you should definitely check out Spookware. Episode one is available on Steam right now. I'll leave a link to the store page in the description to this video. Thank you so much for watching, stay spooky, and I'll see you in the next video. Hey, did you like the video? Consider subscribing to the channel here on YouTube. It's completely free and a great way to support me. I hope you have a good one, and I'll see you next time.